The good, the bad, and the ugly. First, we'll start with the good. Finally, The Rock has come back to NXT. The bad news is, it's not actually The Rock, it's just The Rock's daughter. And the ugly news is, this show was fucking shite. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. It's been a shite week of wrestling so far. Monday Night Raw, one of the worst Raws I can ever remember seeing. Probably... Outside of like the COVID lockdown era Raws, this Raw had to be up there with the worst Raws of all time in my opinion. It was a horrendous Raw. I thought hopefully tonight NXT would make up for it. NXT would be better. But no, NXT was just as bad. Arguably, maybe worse. With no Braun Breaker, the champion retains the belt at Halloween Havoc. We don't see him tonight. Mandy Rose retains the belt at Halloween Havoc. We don't see her tonight. Toxic Attraction, don't see them tonight. Carmelo Hayes lost his NXT North American Championship. Alright, he might not have had it, but it was his to fucking lose. He lost it at Halloween Havoc. He wasn't here tonight. Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade had a big feud. Halloween Havoc. Did we get to see them tonight? No, Paul Creed. Or Paul Cruz even. <laughs> we won't see a Paul Cruz because he's well dead. Ivan Drago made sure we didn't see him tonight. But Paul Cruz wins a big casket match at Halloween Havoc. Did we get to see him? No. But well, that's plenty, Jack. Week after week, Tony D has been mentoring fucking two dimes and telling them how pissy he is or stacks, whatever one it is. Did we get to see either of them tonight? No, we didn't even get to see Bodie fucking Haywood. Where was he? Where the hell was he? Anyway, I'm going to stop talking for a bit, get my breath back, and the other guy can... I'll take it away. <laughs> Woo! NXT! No, Ric Flair wasn't on the show either, mate. I wish he was, though. Me too. <laughs> Although his opinions of late have been shite. But we kicked off with a women's tag title match. We've got Car and Chance. This, by any chance, is this just shite? What, what's this team's actual name? Is that their name, Carter and Chance? Aye. What's that, their name? It's like, I get it. They're taking on Leon's. And Stark. Too ugly. Well, Stark's cooking, man. That's one ugly looking bastard, isn't it? I, I just don't see it. Like, I, see when you hear, like, news and stuff like that, like, I can't stand Candice Lurie, right? I think she's boring as fuck. But, like, I, I've seen articles saying that, like, they didn't want to hire her because she didn't, they didn't think she was, like, attractive enough. I think the same's been said about Becky Lynch. I'm pretty sure Kevin Dunn. Said the same about Becky Lynch, so... Who's Kevin Dunn to be in the position of saying that? Yeah, though? but let, let, let's just not take Kevin Dunn's attractiveness or lack of it into the equation like here, right? Thief. Let's just talk about the fact that people are deeming Becky Lynch and Candice LeRae not to be attractive enough. I'm like, have you looked at some of the other people on the fucking roster? I mean, seriously? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I, just, I, I just do not get it. I, I, I honestly don't. I mean... Like, I'm not saying Becky Lynch and Candice LeRae are, like, fucking 10 out of 10 models, but, I mean, they're by far not the ugliest fucking women on the roster, and I, I definitely wouldn't say they're, they're not, you know, pretty enough to be employed by the company, so I just don't get that, to be honest. Yeah, it's a wee bit, wee bit dodgy here, because uh, big Zoe Starks... But anyway, the point I was trying to make is I, I don't think Starks is attractive, and if I had a wrestling company, I, I wouldn't personally employ her. No, neither would I. But Leon's and Stark win the belts here. But guess what there? The senior official didn't see the tag. So we don't have new champs, which the crowd were actually happy about, weren't they? Uh -uh. Like, they love Carter and Chance, so the referee is told to restart the match by a tick the box higher. The match restarts Carter and Chance win. Leon's at fault here for the big L, but so he starts, we see later on in the show, punching the locker. It seemed like, oh, you're off script for this one, so just try and show us a bit of passion, it, wasn't it? It was, it was very cringy, the backstage. Aye, right, show us some passion. I didn't see any passion. Not your face, because that's bogging. Don't show us the face, man. Come on. Anyway, a mask burns in this segment. Pretty much so he starts face. Should be uh, wait, why don't, you, why don't you talk through some of the moves that happened in the match? Since... Great, what moves? Aye. No, we're not here for the wrestling, we're here to bury them, come on, they're pish. See when someone looks so ugly, what, what, what were my arms as they're doing a blue fo sunder folder bolt that move on maneuver? <laughs> Who cares about that? Leave the fucking refuse to me, mate, right? Just leave the All refuse right, to me. me. Without looking at no DQ or wrestle feed or whatever, what, name me ten moves that happened in that match. Ten? Aye, ten. Oh, come on, that's harsh. No, ten. How about one? I <laughs> one, go for it. 
uh, the finisher. The ugly bastard maneuver. Uh, the four, 450 splash off the top. 450 splash into neck breaker with Nikita Lyons hitting her leg drop pin. We had um, we had like a fall away slam. We had a clothesline over the top rope. Oh, hold on, for fuck's sake! You get you, any match could have that. Do you want to actually rewatch it and we'll, we'll think? I'd be like Cena. Prime Cena, his name is Five Moves of Doom. Does that mean you're fucking brilliant? No. <laughs> anyway, who, whose mask is well, can, can you tell? Can you? Do you know their Five Moves of Doom? No, I know Cena's like. There you go. Do they, do they have Five Moves? <laughs> yeah, this video's doomed for you, mate. Right up next, we have a mask burning in the background. There it says it, the the person who's burning the mask doesn't want retribution. They, they want justice. It's not about retribution. It's about justice. Isn't it the same thing, really? I mean, I, I, retribution. I, is I like, know retribution is more like revenge, whereas justice is kind of like you just want what you're owed. But I mean, can we not just call a spade a spade here? Like, it's the same shit. Uh, revenge, justice, retribution. Like, uh, 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 same thing. If someone murders your goldfish, right, your pet goldfish, I mean, if you want justice or if you want retribution, I mean, doesn't it basically mean that you would kill their pet goldfish? Oh, that doesn't really get you justice, like. I don't know, get you justice killing them. Were they even getting sent away for killing the goat? Point, point fucking being, right? Someone from Retribution burnt their mask. My money is on. Yeah, that that Do Dominic guy, uh, D Dykovic Dominic. Aye, him, that guy. Sounds like a wee tennis player, him. Dykovic in the diaper. But we have the best segment up next. Body Hollywood disappears for Chase University. His seat is empty. Bodie Hollywood? It's <laughs> Bodie Hayward? <laughs> Hollywood. No what? You fuck off to Hollywood. You're you're like the rock, you've done. You've left this channel, I mate, went, you've jobbed it out. I've, you, I've, I've went to Hollywood. You've went out to fucking bigger and Bodie Hollywood no sound pregnant. It is, but it's not his name. Well, and Bodie, it's not Body, it's Bodie. Body Body. Piss shite. <laughs> Same thing, man. His seat's empty. His seat's no there. In comes Juke. We Jukey boy. Duke. Duke, Duke, Duke. It's the same. Thing. What, mate? You, you're a fucking retard. You're actually worse than this show. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I think you're. I'm better than this show. Well, I don't know about that. Like, anyway, right. So, Universe, he chased his classrooms there. Bodie's no there. Everyone's like, "Where's Bodie?" Um, Fia Hall's like, "Oh, where's Bodie? Where's Bodie?" Then Duke walks in. He's like, "Oh, sorry, I'm late, Mister Chase. I was, I was looking for, I, I was looking for Bodie, aka." He's probably murdered Bodie, I don't know. What's Duke done with Bodie? Probably locked him in a closet or something like that. Hopefully, hopefully he checked to make sure Quincy Elliott wasn't in the same closet or else <coughs> Bodie's going to have a hard time. But then he sits down, uh, Fia Hall's lost a pen, so he gives her the pen. He's like, ah, I'll take all my mental notes in here. This pisses off Andrew Chase. He's like, you don't think my notes are important enough to write down? And basically starts shouting at him. Duke's like, hey, Andrew, I'm sorry. Apologises. Um, they start taking notes, and he, he kind of like steals someone else's pen, but he does it in like a really sly way. And then that person's like looking around like a dipshit. And the pen's not there. And it sims in on his face and he's looking smug. And he's all smug. He's all happy with his decision to steal the pen. I mean, and that's that, that's I mean, that's pretty much it. It was a funny segment. I, I liked it. I liked that. Uh, Probably Chase best thing. First, he's been the best thing in NXT. I, I I'd say year. so. I'd say so. Like my only my, my only concern with Chase University is like where does it actually go? Yeah, like, what's the end of the year? Should not be like when they get their results, they can graduate or something. Go to SmackDown or Raw. Or something. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna graduate. I mean, like, I, I just don't get it. Like, it's good, but I mean, they, they don't have matches that mean anything, do they? Where's it like the rival school or something? You know, like I don't know, or, or a faction or something. Right, <laughs> or like sports day, or you know, like sports day. Where's the exams? I mean, where's the school shooter? Come on, where is it at? Anyway, Shotzi taking on Last Legend up next. And with foot looking, name me 10 moves that happened in this match. Go for it. I know 10, you go for it. You don't know, do you? Fuck no 10. And by the way, I forgot Diamond Duadjefitch was called T Bar. So I'm just going to call him T Bar. Diamond Duadjefitch? That's just not his name. Diamond Duadjefitch? Is it Dimonac? D I, I don't know, it's DD. Oh, Piss off. Diamond, man. Alright, fucking relax, sunshine. Who's spatting your sh Need day, right? Need day, right? Then we get, um. We get. Shotzi versus Last Legend. Alright, we get Shotzi versus. You know what? It's because we watch clips and the fucking clips are all over the place and it's not in the order of the show. Stephen the one guy's right. 
I will just be watching the entire show. Try to and on it down or some piss like that when they when they allow me to watch. I thought you should have stayed up and watch it. Right, like me, like the real G. I stayed up and watched the two hour show. Where were you? Ah, where were you? Never to be seen. Good evening. Kill yourself. Um, yeah, so we get we get we get shots of versus Last Legend. Quincy Elliott's again shaking his ass at ringside to Booker T's disgust, and Booker T's is like, "What is this?" You know, like, Brooker "What is that?" Although Brooker he wasn't doing Shane running towards, he was running nah, the fucking way. It would it would have been better if he just ran up to Quincy Elliott and hit him with a fucking bookend or something. I don't know. Scissors kick. I mean, I I, I think Booker T would lose his shit if Quincy Elliott started dancing and just turned it into a spinner, didn't he? I think he would. I think he'd go down and fucking start battering him. What do you mean go down? He's sorry they didn't know. Well, well, get up and fucking batter him. You then. said that as if they announced tables positioned in like Raw 2004 or something? Or? Oh, well, hold on. If, if, if Quincy Elliott's on the deck, then the spin Rooney has to get down and spatter him. <laughs> That's not what you meant, though. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not at the top of the ramp. Well, fucking... does it really matter? Right, it doesn't anyway. It shots the black heart wins. I don't know, is Shotzi now officially back in NXT, or are they just having Shotzi be on, I don't get it, is Shotzi some sort of ratings draw, I mean, does she need to be on NXT and SmackDown, or or does like a brand split not exist anymore, or, I, I don't know, like, what is it, you tell me. I mean, if you're going to go for ratings with these people on two uh, different brands, you'd go for someone better than Shotzi Blackheart, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think you'd be sticking like a Roman Reigns or something, but then again, you can't even get him to turn up on, thing. you can't well, get him what? to turn up. What's Kevin Owens been doing recently? He's been on like all three fucking shows. Absolutely nothing. Speaking of doing nothing, Fear Mahan wasn't doing anything for a very long time, but he's back. He's back in NXT. He's turned up. He's reunited with Sagna, and apparently they have they've uh, reunited this tag team called Indus Share. Now I, I don't know anything about this team. Apparently it was a, a team back in the old NXT days. So what, just two Indian guys together, uh, like, what was the point, you know, months and months and months, well, I say months, I mean, it was almost like over half a year, we waited after the vignette segment of um, Fear, we finally got his debut, and then he had like, shit match after shit match after shit match against local talents, then he had like a mini feud with the Mysterios, Went absolutely nowhere. Then he went back to beating up jobbers. Then he disappeared for like four months. <laughs> I thought he was released. But no, he's not released. He, well, maybe he has. He's been demoted. Right? Just as bad as getting released. He's been demoted. Now he's back on NXT. Is the last year of Fear Mahan just not a waste? Yeah, it's almost like Finch did it as a rib. Like, why would you build some guy up? You know, we knew. Everyone knew. There's just no intention this guy going anywhere. Oh, in fairness, I said he would be gone in six weeks, so I was kind of wrong. Because <laughs> it took him like six months to fucking debut. It's <laughs> the only reason he lasted six, more than six weeks. I thought the guy would have had a couple of weeks, then then they'd be like, no, this is shite not going anywhere and got rid of him, but... I guess it took them a bit longer to realise that. I'm not... Ex and so they're beating up the diamond mine, and it looked like Sagna was reluctant to do it. Um, then they're leaving to go to the back. Ivy Nile comes out, and she, like, stands in between both of them. And honestly, the acting here was really bad, because it, it looked like, from my standpoint, Ivy Nile had joined forces with the two Indian guys. Yeah. And then she kind of looks at them and looks at them, keeps looking at them, and then eventually she turns around to, to Sagna and goes, How could you? And then goes and checks on the diamond mine. It was like, wouldn't she show a bit more, like, um, you Hatred know, disgust or something, or dislike when she, disapproval when she first came out? She was standing in between them as if she, like, as if she was, like, lining up with them, as if she joined their alliance. It was weird. Um, but yeah, diamond mine forever. Who cares? Damon Kemp, by the way, another guy that. Well, he, he appeared for like 10 seconds on the Titan Tron, but if you're going to call that an appearance, then I don't know what we're doing these days. So we, we're racing a ping pong, as Sebastian Fett would say, and then no one on this channel gets that reference. So with that, let's move on. Let's move on to... I'm sorry, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit depressed here, right? I try and get motivated for watching wrestling, but it's shite. And I put a poll up and I said the reality is wrestling will never be good again. And there's a guy... Figata, lover, Figata something or I forgot a lover, how am I? I've seen his comments. Like mate, I appreciate that, that you seem to love wrestling and you're looking at it from a positive standpoint. You know what? Fair play to you. But we've got to be honest, right? This is not good. Wrestling's not good. Raw on Monday night there was not good. 
It was the opposite of good. Actually, it was worse than the opposite of good. It was, it was shite. It was, it was horrendous. It was bad. It's been bad for a long time. Right? Over the past 10 years, have you had the odd good show? Yes. Have you had the odd great moment? Yes. But consistently, when was the last time you maybe watched back-to-back -back Raws and you thought, you know what, they were great? I can't even remember the last time I watched Raw and it was great. No, but wrestling's flipped. It used to be, you never got anything bad. Now it's, you never got anything good. In terms of consistency. And that's a problem. That's hard to reverse. Triple H... Triple H could have come in with the greatest ideas. See what the roster given to him. He can't... I, I'll, I'll, I mean, it's even with Vince as well. It's fucking shite these days, man. See the people who could make it good consistently? They're just not there long enough. You need Brock. You need Cena. You need Edge. You need those sort of people. Yes or no? You need them week in, week out. If you're truly going to make it anywhere near that it was back in the day. We do. Um, apparently next, Pretty Deadly, we're backstage talking about how athletic they are and how fast the other two guys are. Didn't see this. Then apparently we had a freeway video call between Toxic Attraction, which we never seen either. Celebrating the one year anniversary of Mandy Rose's titles. Now apparently the clips on the, on the YouTube channel show you everything, but I guess this is proof that it certainly does not. Ah oh well, freeway video conference, man. We missed it. We move on to a two-on-two -two match. One match this was. Uh, two black guys I didn't even know existed right now. I'm not gonna sit, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say this is the first time I've seen them. It's recent off. He sounds like an Arsenal but player from 2014. The first time I seen these guys was like um, about a month ago. But the, the they were on the show as if they were like regulars, as if they were like established. And I honestly had never seen them before in my life, so I don't know what's going on. They take on Pretty Deadly. Pretty Deadly win. Uh, was it ever in doubt? Was Pretty Deadly going to lose this match tonight? I don't think so. It's not a good team. Uh, speaking of teams that are not good, we see Nikita Lyons and Zoe Starks backstage. Zoe Starks is smashing uh, lockers. Nikita Lyons is blaming herself. And this is an odd... They said they've got a rematch. I don't know why they've got a rematch. They weren't the champions. Like, so why? Maybe it's because they, they won, technically, and then they got hoovered it after them. But again, it doesn't make any sense. Well, they didn't win because the match was restarted. So, like, I, I just don't see why they're getting a rematch. Again, with no authority figures, there's no one making matches, there's no one applying rules, there's no one di dictating anything, so, I mean... But you see Shawn Michaels the odd time, why not just say he's NXT general manager, for fuck's sake? Yeah, yeah, why, yeah, why not? I mean, seriously. He doesn't need to appear, as long as you know there's someone there. Yeah, and then when he does appear, you're like, what do you mean he doesn't need to appear? He's fucking sitting back. He's literally behind the... the yeah, but... No, but I don't get that. See, he doesn't need to appear to give you the illusion that he's the making the match. No, but I don't, I don't get that. See, for years and years, man, you never got McMahon, you never got the McMahon family, and they're, they're literally just sitting behind the curtains. I know. See but... all these years, Raw and SmackDown was pish. McMahon could have fucking... great now, aren't they? No, well, you know, but McMahon could have strutted out and say, I'm the generic jackhammer. I've got the grapefruits. You know, he could have done all that, but... While wow, looking decrepit as fucking absolutely yeah, deep. We get my point. Like, look, if Michaels is there, right? If Michaels is... If Michaels is literally about 50 yards away from the ring at any time. Why not make him the authority figure? Why not make him the GM? Very true, man. Very true, but... We move on. We digress. Maybe one day he'll be there. Maybe one day he'll come out of retirement and give us a five-star classic, will he? I think it's I think it's five star classic days are done. Anyway, point I was trying to make is I think there's going to be a heel turn next week. I Aye. see Stoey Starks turning on Nikita Lyons. Now you could argue it might be Nikita Lyons turning on Stoey Stark, but I, I I just think there's more there's more money behind Nikita Lyons, so she's not going to turn heel. That is my prediction. I could be wrong. Like I said, I said fear. I don't only care last. enough to make a prediction, so we'll move on to the next match. Which is? Oh, so you don't care enough to make a prediction about that, but you care enough about the next match, mate. Ah, next match is brilliant. Oh. Indy Hartwell versus Sol Ruka, right? So Sol Ruka, oh, ha oh. she had a couple of she had a couple of like vignettes like on the beach, like two months ago. Then she finally debuted it and had a fucking shit match, and then she disappeared for like a month, and now she turned up tonight and lost in about thirty seconds. So this person's career is obviously going nowhere. This person's done. Yeah, they're done. It's like a fear of my hand situation, but... It's like, but they didn't, they didn't last a year, they lasted like a week. Uh, yeah, so Electra Lopez then makes a return, attacks both of them. 
Uh, and that's it. So Electra Lopez is back. She's she's not with Legado del Fantasma. Why? Why though? Why is she not with them? Why? Why is it piss Selena Vega that's with them? I think I, I think there's more value in Electra Lopez for the simple fact is she's fresher. She's not failed on the main roster yet. Twice. I mean, Selena Vega's had multiple runs and they've all been crap. I'm like, why change it up? Why if it's not broken? Why fucking try and fix it? Plus, I, I just find it hard to take Selena Fager seriously. Like, she has like, legit like a midget. But see, that's something Fence would have done and they would have buried him. Because Triple H does it all, it's thought he's the man. I, I just think Electra Lopez fitted the role better. And, and they're going to say, oh, well, Selena Fager's this great mic worker and she can help them. But is she, is she really? She's fucking pish. Is she really? I mean, I don't even know if I'd put her in the top five women. I know. On the main roster. She can no ring in ability, man. She can't just... Uh, oh, she's going to fuck great. Who said she's a great mic talker? Who said this? See, when you learn to speak the English dictionary... Who th said that? Then we can be on the same wavelength. Aye, but who said that? Every, it's common knowledge, oh, mate. Com it's common knowledge to think this shite's good. Does that mean it's good? Look, the point is, right, a lot of people think Selena... Look, I'll admit, she's not bad. She is... And, and if you take all the women on the main roster, she and you split them in half, she is 100% in the better half. That is an undeniable fact. But is that because she's great? Or is it because most of them are terrible? Yes, right, but if you stick a fresh pair of dog shit next to a three-week-old dog shit and four-week-old, five-week-old, you get the picture. Does that mean it's better or does that mean it's just a bit better than the shite? <laughs> You're the shite, right? <laughs> Guy, wait, hold on. Where did I get this? And he want. Uh, why don't you want to refute with me? Fuck it. Fuck, I'll happily not refute this shite. Well, Ted, oh, hold on, actually. See your point? I think I would rather the four week old dog shite because I think the smell would be gone. And it kind of just like turns into like soil and uh, it just turns into. The smell wouldn't be gone. Earth? It would be rank. Not, not wouldn't it? Uh, it dries out. It'd be rank. Who do you think smells worse? Fresh dog shite or four week old dog shite? What would you rather eat? Right? <laughs> Neither, like, but. Anyway, <laughs> Odyssey Jones. The SSC. He, pu he pulled up my truck and I wish he'd fucking taken you with him, mate. <laughs> he pulls up my truck, there's a bunch of girls in the back and he tells the black tag team that lost the title match to jump in. No idea. I, I legit never seen this guy in my life before. But apparently he's on NXT now. Um, now they jump in, but the, you notice the way they jump in, they have to act like they're fucking nerds. Whereas if it, if it was Quincy Elliott jumping in, he'd be fucking groping them all and he'd be molesting them. And like, uh, but it's all right because he, he's gay. Ah, uh, you know. But I mean, these guys jump in and they have to like, oh, they, they can't man split, spread or nothing. And you have to keep your hands to yourself. You know what I mean? Oh, no, if, God forbid you touch the person in the seat next to you. But uh, if it was Quincy Elliott, like, he'd be flopping all over everybody, like you know, and twerking his ass away. Oh damn right. Anyway, right, we got a up next we get a scripted message left at the WWE Performance Centre. Voicemails, not quite Chris Benoit's voicemails to Chavo Guerrero, is it? No, but how much better would it have been if it was then? Like, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I left the dogs out, man. <laughs> um, basically, this was like a scripted message saying that it's all the same, Jenny. You're gonna pay. I'm done You're gonna suffering. You're pay this time. You're gonna pay. But see, the thing Triple H is great. No, what it was, it, it was a bunch of words, but saying absolutely nothing. No, mm -hmm. this is just throwing shit against the wall, hoping it sticks. Who gives? So no, no fucking no, anything. Yeah, I like this. I like the idea, but the context, the um, the, the lyrics, the 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 quotes it was it was shit. The dialogue. The dialogue that I finally got on my fourth attempt. The word I was looking for, I got on my fourth attempt. The context here of this um no no not context the dialogue the dialogue was terrible it was it was basically you know people that like can speak in, in long paragraphs and they're saying a lot it's like like Meltzer he'll say a lot but when you dissect it he says absolutely nothing well yeah. I think Tony Khan is gonna try and sign the rock but I don't know that Tony Khan's gonna sign the rock but I think the rock would be interested in joining an AEW but I I got a feeling the rock doesn't want to be in the wrestling business no Barter him. Barter him, aye. Right, up next, speaking of battering, JD McDonough battered Eli Dragnovov in the main event here. I'm not too sure if the winner of this gets a title shot against Braun Breaker, 
Brombreaker wasn't here the night, so I guess we can't decide that or not. Tell you what, good finish. I like that. I like them getting choked out. Good blood. finish, choked out, blood. Uh, referee, black you know, and white. trying to pull them off. Booker T. The referee needed, should have stepped in there a couple of seconds and done his job. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, so there you go. He leaves on a stretcher. He, he leaves, leaves on a stretcher. Hopefully that's him gone now. Send them back to TJ or NXT Europe, whatever one is closer. Tijuana. Probably Tijuana. NXT um, right, we're about out of order. I'm pretty sure that ended the show. But we'll move on to our truth I had to put the Rock's daughter in at the final clip, though, whatever. So our truth shows up. He thinks it's Halloween Havoc. He shows up late, but he thinks he's early because he, think, he thinks Halloween Havoc's tonight. But it turns out it's not. Grayson Waller's like, I'm not excited because it was last night. It was three days ago and I lost my title. Um, thingy, Wesley says he is excited because, or he was excited and he shows him the belt that he won, blah 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 then r Truth and Wesley beat up Grayson Waller, it wasn't good it was, a, it was a funny line when he thought he was British, not Australian Oh, I, the, uh, it was funny, I, r Truth, that was but good but Wesley looked like a fucking goofball I like Grayson Waller, right? I think Grayson Waller's got potential when I look at, when I look at NXT Grayson, I think Grayson Waller's got the height and appearance that MJF would like yeah, I think I think the Grayson Waller's got like a, I think he got like a Miz factor over him. Aye, I think he could be better than the Miz. But he's got a more, he's got a better voice than the Miz. I feel like the accent helps. I do. I think as well. I think uh, I, I, I think Grayson. I feel like he could only be a, a heel. I think Grayson Waller can be a future main eventer on the main roster. Uh, probably if, uh, everybody in NXT. I'd say he's definitely. I'd say definitely top five in terms of potential. Anyway, uh, we get the schism. Now, I hate the schism, right? So, it's, it's a shit group, right? It, it was, it's Joe Gacy and two guys with wonky eyes. I mean, is there anything... <laughs> make up three. <laughs> two guys with wonky eyes. Is there any... I mean... And the rock. <laughs> daughter. And so then they, they uh, introduce a, a fourth member... They take the mask off and it's the Rock's daughter and she's kind of got like the Rock's facial features. Which doesn't work if you're a woman. Yeah, I mean... I, you know what? I don't, I, I, there's a lot of hype to live up to, but she's shite on the fucking mic. And I believe her name is Ava Rain. She says like two two words and then NXT goes off the air. Hey, but look, they're supposed to be like a, a demonic faction, creepy bat, and they're like, they're hugging here. It's like, ah, oh, we're all... What? We're all in this together! That was fucking atrocious for it, man. Honestly. And, um, yeah, and then that's pretty much it. NXT goes off the air. Like, <laughs> surely The Rock's daughter deserves something better than this. Could anyone not have done this? Could this? Could anyone literally not have been handed this role? Yeah. Like, what's this leading to? Is she going to join the bloodline, for fuck's sake? Would it, is it, like, is this not something for, like, a fucking Nikki Cross or something? Crazy Nikki? Get her off of Raw and send her to fucking development. I know, I know. I, I, yeah, and then they're wearing yellow masks. Michael Myers, pish, I don't know. I, I just, I just Anyway, don't. Uh, I do know something. This show was shite. I'm going to No, get... but, like, I, I hate Rhea Ripley. But she does fit in. She 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 belongs in the Judgment Day, right? See, uh, when Stephen the Judgment Day started, see if you say, like, what female do you put in the Judgment Day? Rhea Ripley. I think Rhea Ripley would probably be the number one pick in terms of, like, just her look and dress code, and she just seems to fit in with the whole Judgment Day thing. But does the, does, does the Rock... You think of that now. We obviously we don't know his daughter, right? So his daughter might not be nothing like the Rock. I doubt it, right? Because nobody's like the Rock. But I mean, does the does the Rock and the Schism really go together? No. When you think of the Rock, do you think the Schism? <laughs> no, I think Hollywood's biggest star. Like I mean, you know the way Grayson Waller's got the Grayson Waller effect. And I'm not saying what are him doing with the Rock's daughter. I'm not saying that. But do you not think like they would try and give her something a bit more hip, a bit more hop, a bit more? Uh, yeah, th yeah, yes. Maybe he, she could be uh, uh, Grayson Waller's, like, I don't know, this is like, co presenter this is like, of the Grayson Waller nah, effect. What's that Mongo tape who was taken on, man? There was Kay Kay Kayleigh Ray? Aye, uh, some, maybe some for her. To, to, I can't really think of any. Alba Fire? Aye, uh, her Alba Fire. I can't really think of anyone else in NXT that could fit that because it's that shite, but. Her, aye, why not her? Anyway, rate it! Rate it! I'm going to get a. I'm getting a one. Oh, I'm getting a one. Shite. Uh uh. Uh, you know what? That, no, I'm not giving that a two. I'm sorry. It was too shit to get a two. But I did like two things, right? I, I did like the art, uh, the art truth interaction with Grayson Waller, but the accent was pretty good. The end of that match. And I, you know, the end of that match was alright. And then the. And I like the Chase University segment. 
Yeah, maybe it should have got a two out of ten. I'll give you a two. You, you get, get a two, I'll get a one. One and a half. One and a half out of ten, there you go. Dave been, Meltzer. It's been a shit week for wrestling. That's it, guys. There you go. 29. 30 minute review. Till next time. Peace.